Hello, people. I'm Vito, and welcome back to Path of Radiance with Robberlink. Hello. So, where we left off, we are still doing this mission. Sorry, it's taking a while. Gotta heal Boyd and leave him here. So he can hopefully get some wax off on that guy. I wish I could zap from over the wall. That'd be nice. It really would be. Or if I had, like, a diagonal two range. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Titania can't do much to him either. You might be able to throw a javelin at Actually, it'd probably do like one damage. Yeah, and I don't think I can get to him without leaving her trapped in there, and that would be bad, right? <laughs> yeah. 18 damage in one hit. I mean, she could still do flyby attacks, strafing runs, but you'd have to move her a bit closer to start with. Yeah. What could you do to him? That'd actually be okay. Yeah. Get some experience this way. Thought that was a crit for some reason. Yeah, usually if it's like a special animation, you expect a crit, but it's it was just her getting closer. Hmm. That was nice. She evaded. Yeah. You don't need magic. Why are you getting magic? <clears throat> Marsha, we need to talk. <laughs> All right, Titania, you can just look pretty. You too. And uh, you're fine, so you can just stay there too. Yeah, he must be going for the exit. <laughs> <laughs> Darn you and your healing. So you could infinitely farm from him. If you let him keep healing. <laughs> I guess technically... But that would drag on and on and on. But now that I'm thinking about that, that's actually a very good oh point. No. Oh no. I've given him an idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't do it on the show for a video, you know? Hmm. Also, really, Boyd? Did he miss again? Yes, that's the second time. <sighs> Well, I can at least have you block him off so I can have more people in here to attack him. Eh, that's a good idea. And while you're at it, yeah. grab an item. Hmm, short axe. I think that's like a more advanced... Hand axe, I believe. Yeah. Wow, Liliana's doing great. First with the, uh, the crits down here. She's trying to redeem herself. She's trying to say, hey, I can be useful. Yeah, she's doing more damage than Soren. It's like, hmm. I, I am still determined to bring Soren, so maybe just two mages for the time being. Hmm. So if you get a third mage, he's definitely out of luck. Yeah, I think there is a third mage. You're a Crimean soldier, right? I've opened your cell. Let's, let's get out of here. Who... How are you? I'm Ike. I'm with a mercenary company hired by Princess Crimea. Wait. What D did you say Princess Crimea? Yeah, they've they've said that before. They mean like the Princess of Crimea, I guess. Hmm. Anyway. It is kind of strange. I can fill you in on the details later. For the time being, you'll just have to trust me. Very well. Here, target. How about right about here, so you're out of the way, but close enough to the exit that it won't take forever. No, I wouldn't shove you. <laughs> also, if you're curious why I give him a bit of a accent like that, I, I think it's implied that they do have that kind of an accent. Like the kind of hill hillbilly-ish? Well, just like kind of southern. Like, I think they say things like y'all. Hmm. But that might only be in the second game. And I also could be misremembering. No, I think... I think it's supposed to be like they were farmers or something, so they're not... Yeah. Quite... They don't speak quite the same as everyone else. Because y'all know, where are the peasants? Hmm, taking your health down little by little. Just chipping away.
I was thinking maybe have him attack first, but I think that'd kill him potentially. Yeah. Ah, boy. You know, it's bad when he has to bring out the mend. The super bonk. <laughs> yes. So I'm not. No, oh, that's a really good level. Yeah. Up. Does the magic affect how much he heals? I believe it does. I'm not sure what the skill is for, though, because I always assumed that was for, like, accuracy. Yeah, I don't know if it would help him at all. Hmm. Slim Lance? If you want to guarantee a hit. Well. Oh. Or not. The thing I was thinking is... I want to give it to Ileana, but I'm not sure if I'll continue use, using her or not, as much as I am determined to use Marsha. Mm. <sighs> sorry, sorry, Ileana, you've done really well. I appreciate it, but I'm going to give this to Marsha. She somehow misses twice. <laughs> All right, now. Nice. Well, hey, now she can help with, uh, the general. <laughs> All right. Uh... I just go there for now. Now, will you please hit just once? <laughs> Ouch. Nope. Jesus. I swear you had like over 50% chance. You still have an armor slayer, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll just give it to Ike. <laughs> if only you could actually reach within a reasonable amount of turns. I've, I'll just farm Reese's experience with this. <laughs> Reese becomes the first person to get to level 20. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the only limitation to farming him here or that person there would be your weapon durability then. Yeah, I guess so. Jeez, you still won't make it? Mm. That tickled. <laughs> it's like six damage. That would that would feel like a lot if it was hitting someone like Reese or Marsha, but you make it look tiny. Yeah. Now I thought knights had really bad resistance. How is his resistance? It's eight. eight. Well, compared to Brom, how is that? That's that's actually really good. Same as Titania's. Hmm. E, meeny, miny, mo. I know harm in it if it misses, right? Or is there? Well, it wastes the durability. I actually know I. I'm no longer certain. I know it doesn't for the spears and throwable weapons and such, but I'm actually not sure about the magic now that I'm thinking about it. It wouldn't make sense, realistically, but I f still feel like it'd be consistent if it did. <laughs> still, yeah, take that. <laughs> it's still kind of funny. It's like, oh no, I've read this book too hard. It broke. <laughs> All right. Just you three? Yeah, okay. Well, actually, what is, out of curiosity, what is Boyd's chance of hitting with the hammer? Oh, Ford? it's less than 50%. Uh, probably because of the sword. Yeah. Uh, wait, what's her inventory? Hmm. 
All right. Tell you what. I'll trade. You. <laughs> the one who doesn't like carrying unnecessary things. Here, take this. <laughs> he just topples over immediately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm, poor Boyd. Just getting sliced and then healed. <laughs> oh, there we go. You'll not escape. I will see all of you dead. You will be ex executed. Executing program. Hmm. Life.exe has stopped running. Yeah, pretty much. I guess that's good since I'm set on using Void, although that's not a great level up. Nah. All that for that? And I almost had I can range. Gosh dang it. All right, now talk to him. You're from Crimea, right? Come on, we're here to rescue you. We've opened your cell. Now's the time to escape. You're so annoying, you won't even talk to Ike, our leader. Huh. Ah, it's you. Pardon? I could never forget that squint. Knights of Crimea, 12th Regiment, your name is Oscar. And you're... wait a moment. You're Kieran, right? That is correct. I am Kieran. The same Kieran who has sworn himself to be your eternal rival. Uh, right. Kieran. So, how have you been? You look good. As always, your manner is listless and inappropriate. It befits one who would call me foe. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if I was saying that right. <laughs> it befits one who would call me foe. You were discharged three years ago. What are you doing here now? Ah, could it be? You dastard. <clears throat> you dastard. You've turned your coat and gone over to Dayan, haven't you? Rah! What despicable, <laughs> contemptible behavior. Unforgivable. Have you no shame? You are my one true rival. Where has your pride gone? The mercenary company I'm attached to serves under the command of the Princess of Crimea. Oh. We came here to free any Crimean prisoners, except for the obnoxious ones. <laughs> the Princess of Crimea? You're not part of the Royal Guard. How do you know about the Princess? Well, like I said, the Princess is our employer and... Wait, you knew? <laughs> Aha, so that's your scheme, is it? You hope to distinguish yourself by meritus or meritorious service and gain the glory that is rightfully mine, admit it. Look, my duty is... Blast you. Curse your name. Curse the name of Oscar and all who call him kin. Boy just sneezes. <laughs> I will never let you surpass me. Princess, I'm coming. Kieran will be the... F uh. Kieran will be forever at your side. Whoa. He's even more excitable than I remember. Hard to believe he's actually a decent knight. And not gonna be for me. He's gonna be left in the roster forever. Yep. Never to be used. Mwahahaha. Poor Kieran. Alright, um... All right, tell you what, trade with you. Oh wait, you've used up all the key. All right, never mind. I guess we gotta use Folk now, don't we? Yeah. All right, everyone after Volk. Okay, no, <laughs> never mind. I was gonna say uh, take anything that he has on him, but he's pretty empty. I was just thinking, Soren, use your key. I don't care if it's a door key. Just shove it in there. Make it work. Wait. Heal. It's weird. Yeah. Because usually it... Usually there's an equipped one, but for, for yeah. staffs it doesn't count. And there's a good reason for that. Because of the... When they get light magic. Huh. 
you want them to have that equipped. <laughs> I actually never thought about that. All right, let's get out of here. Sephiroth, Roth, Fim, whoever you are, we're leaving you. <laughs> Sephiran. Sephiran. All right, so I doubt there's any bonus to having other people escape first, but I'm going to do it just in case anyways. Hmm. And first, I'm going to also make sure I get the last chest before I do anything like that. Are you just going to sit on the point and not actually leave? <laughs> That's not helpful. I need to get to those points. Also, just in case he decides to leave me or something because he's just for hire, <laughs> I'll be taking that. Takes a full area as well. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, good. It still lets me. <laughs> You're kind of in my way. All right, the mission is over, pretty much. Excuse me. Want to make a cut here? <laughs> I could, but I don't know if it's worth it. Ike, I'm going ahead. I'll keep the road secure. Right then, guess I'm going ahead now. Be careful, Ike. Uh, so much dialogue. Unneeded. Are you sure you don't need me to stay behind and watch your back? I'll be fine. Just get going. <sighs> I made it. I wasn't sure I would, but I'm going on ahead. I don't like it, but I'll follow your orders and go ahead. But Ike, watch yourself. Yeah, okay. I'll have him go last, just in case. <laughs> breathe. Just breathing noises. Yeah. I'm going to ride ahead, Ike. I want to see if there are more enemy units ahead. I'm sure there are plenty. That's why you're going too. I wonder if I should really go on ahead. You'd better hurry, Ike. Yeah, they need a meat shield. <laughs> All right. Time to get out of here. And the prisoners were never rescued because they didn't go to the escape area. <laughs> I've brought one of the Crimean soldiers who was being held prisoner. Ahem. I'm sure you are unaware of this, but I am... Princess Alincia. Oh, yes, quite right. You ruined my moment. I am Kieran. I served under General Jeffrey as leader of Crimea's 5th platoon. My platoon had the honor of escorting you from the palace during Dayan's attack. Really? You were there when... I was. Lord Renning ordered my platoon to accompany General Jeffrey and serve as your escort. Our mission was to see you safely out of Crimea to Gallia's king. But we failed you. And when you were lost to us, I believed my worthless life was at its end. Yet here you are. To think that I would be so blessed as to see you again. Such emotion. I... The tears. Kieran, were there any others? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Such terrific emotion, so... I beg your pardon? Did anyone other than yourself survive? Of course, though I was the only one unfortunate enough to suffer the misery of captivity. General Jeffrey and several of his soldiers fought off the day in attack. 
they were able to slip away. Even now, they wait in Crimea, hoping for one last chance to strike a blow against Dayan. Jeffrey, he is alive. Ah, how those words drive off the shadows across my heart. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you for surviving. It's the least I could do. <laughs> you are too <laughs> kind, your highness. The opportunity to serve you again is the greatest reward I could ask for. For as long as I draw breath, I will stand ready at your side. This, I swear. Nope, you're going back in the roster and staying there. <laughs> all right. We all know where K Kieran stands. How about you two? I will recognize... You... Mm. Will you recognize Princess Alincia as the rightful heir to the Crimean throne? Will you fight for her? Look here. My name's Brom, and this last is Nephany. We're just simple country militiamen from the same territory. Now, we don't know much about nobles and stuff. Kings and queens don't matter much when you're working the fields. Of course, we know we'll be in trouble if someone takes our fields away from us. So that's why we joined the militia. The ki this King of Dane's no friend of ours. And I hear he's doing terrible things too. Vile tortures with rusty nails and... and more. What's going to happen to my family? I left them all back home, and I'm so worried I can hardly see straight. If you can defeat the King of Dayan, will this country return to the way it used to be? Is that what you're after? It is my hope. I may not be as powerful as my father, but I will never abandon Crimea. You sound like a lady who stands by her word. Looks like my choice is easy. Mine too. I'll fight in your name. I'll help you in yours, and we'll send those Dayan milksops packing. Thank you. Excuse me, what's a milksop? <laughs> you don't want to know. Uh, unknown person, I beg your pardon. Oh, it's this person. Okay. You're... Oh, blessed saint. I thought saints were people who died. <laughs> Master Sifferin, you live. Brom, Nephany, are either of you wounded? We're fine, but what about you? You were jailed for helping us. I'm so sorry. Oh, I hope they didn't hurt you. No, but uh, I gave me a nasty shove. <laughs> <laughs> it is nothing to fret about. Everyone is safe. And that is what matters. <clears throat> and that is what matters. Oh, blessed one. Pardon me, may I have a moment? Yes. Oh, you're the man I met earlier, the one who shoved me. <laughs> I owe you so much for freeing me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't have to thank us. However, I am curious about your situation. Why were you aiding Crimean soldiers? Do you question my story? Yes. You're a monk on pilgrimage, as well as an ally of Crimean resistance fighters? Under the circumstances, do you blame me? Tell me something, Ike. If you came across a wounded person, could you ignore his plight? If he had a red ring around him, yes. <laughs> Normally, no, I could not. But in times like these, where it means risking my own life, I don't know. It's tough to say. Haha, uh -huh, you're quite honest. However, if actually faced with such a choice, a man such as yourself would not hesitate. If faced with an individual in pain, you would act instinctively. Your body would not wait for the command. Who... who are you? Really, you're so calm, so full of peace. I can't believe you're a simple monk. If you'll forgive me, I must be going. Don't change the topic. <laughs> Fare thee well, young warrior. I am certain that we will meet again. Deflection 100. Like, dang, you don't even need a shield. Hmm. Ike. Oh, hello, Volk. What do you want? I was thinking about traveling with you for a bit. I'll be in the general area, so if you need anything, you can call me. I'll help you out. For a fee, of course. What did you say? Why would you do such a thing? In times such as these, there must be many parties that need... intelligence. 
Well, you've sparked my curiosity, and besides... No, we'll just have to leave it at that. That's not acceptable. Don't be so inflexible. It's not as if I'll be joining your merry band or anything. This is strictly business. And yet you... Titania. I believe this is a good opportunity. We will almost certainly have need of this man's talents. He is a dubious character at best, but at least we know his motives. Everything begins and ends with gold. He'll be easy to control. <laughs> Stab. <laughs> Never say that I'm a slave to gold. You little. Mm. Sauron, he's standing right there. I don't think he minds. What what will it be, Ike? The decision's yours. Let him come. Yeah, why not? Very well. You may do as you like. <clears throat> you may do as you like. Excellent. Call me if you need anything. I don't like him. It's worse than Sheenon, just with his vagueness. <laughs> First the thief and then that monk. What an odd band of characters you've attracted. Ranulf, have you finished your errands? All done. But about those two. Yes, they're both rather mysterious. Well, the monk seems like a decent enough fellow. Determining who is a friend and who is a foe is something that I must be able to do. It's just so hard, but it's just so hard. That's only because you don't have enough information to base your judgment on. All we, all we can do now is press on. You're right. Oh, they actually are. <laughs> I was going to be like, but first, more talking. Alrighty. Chapter 11. Blood Runs Red. That doesn't sound foreboding. <laughs> Port Toha. Uh, I think I remember this one. Yeah, I think I do too. Well, we're, we're here. Welcome to Toha, Crimea's westernmost port city. What's with this place? The people are go the people are going about their business. Why aren't they worried about Dayan, about the war? It's because this area is fairly isolated. Dayan's army hasn't come this far, and so life goes on as before. Yet they've managed to get to Gallia. <laughs> Dayan's plan is to seize the capital, then slowly and steadily expand its sphere of influence until it controls everything. Surely these people have some idea of what's happening. Ignorance is a form of bliss, is it not? These people don't know what it's like to lose a war. They don't want to know. Crimea as a nation has always been blessed by peace. Perhaps it, this is due to the temperament of its rulers, but the country hasn't seen serious warfare for centuries. While minor skirmishes with the Kingdom of Dayan have been legion, only the eastern borderlands have taken damage. And yet even I know this peace will not last. When we met Dayan forces on our scouting mission, they attacked us merely for being within the Crimean border. Humans are shameless creatures that carelessly ignore any misfortune which does not befall them directly. They can, and often do, turn a blind eye to all manner of wickedness so long as it does not touch them or their kin. They will bow their heads, condemning those victims for bringing calamity upon themselves. And then they will cast their eyes toward heaven in thanks, while their neighbors lay dying around them. Jeez, that's dark. <laughs> you friggin' nihilist. <laughs> but the war is happening here. This is their home, not someone else's. When the Dayan army darkens their doorsteps, perhaps they will understand. When the peace they take for granted is shattered, and their sons and daughters slaughtered in the streets, perhaps then they will comprehend the misfortunes they so long pretended not to see. I have no sympathy for them. Well, jeez. Is, is he, like, bipolar or something? My goodness, the nastier the truth, the blunter he gets. Quite a delightful staff officer you have there. He, um... He has an undeniable 
streak of severe. Right. He has an undeniable streak of severity in him, but, but this, something's bothering him. That's for sure. It's to be expected. Even I'm a bit shocked by this place. Can they truly be as placid as they appear? Sorn's a, Sorn's a very empathetic young man. The emotions of this place may have proven to be too much for him. I'm sorry, empathetic. <laughs> I have sensed no empathy from that guy. <laughs> Ignoring impending doom because you cannot prevent it. Fatalism is by nature a disheartening beast. Well, for all those born with nothing, there are those born with everything. Perhaps those who never notice the difference are the ones we should envy. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Oh, I was talking to myself. Pay me no mind. Hmm. I don't like all this philosophy going around here. Now then, I've got to see a man about a ship. While I'm gone, why don't you get your supplies squared away? I'm sure that the journey ahead will require a lot of packing. Ranulph, I'll go with you. Hmm, thunder outside. Hmm. I think. No, no, that's all right. You should supervise the supply acquisition. You're going to be at sea for months, you know. I know that, but... What is it, Titania? I get seasick. <laughs> She's worried about me. She doesn't want to leave a lo uh, solitary lagoose wandering around a Bjork city. But I thought Crimea and Gallia were allied nations. We talked about this, Ike. Why would a wandering lagoose be a cause for concern? The lagoose aren't the only ones who are racist. <laughs> well, it shouldn't be, but... Do you remember what King Canigus told you? The friendship between Crimea and Gallia exists only between the ruling classes. It hasn't taken roots. It hasn't taken root in the minds of the common citizenry at all. That being said, things have improved quite a bit since King Raymond ascended to the throne. The reports of hunts and such other horrors have all but disappeared. Oh, don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got connections, see? It's not like I'll be roaming the docks beg begging for passage. And then he goes begging. <laughs> All right, then. The job is yours. Please be careful. Why, you think he doesn't want anyone to accompany him? <laughs> you too. Don't mess anything up. Ike, here's a summary of our last battle. All right. Oh, I did get some bonus experience. You earned five gold. <laughs> There were no casualties, and no one suffered permanent injury. We fought excellently. Nice. That's all I have to report. If you'll excuse me and my racist butt. <laughs> Alright, I think that's a good place to end the episode. I believe so. Alright, we finally finished that mission. Okay, so we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Goodbye.